Okay, and you're listening to Two Cars FM, and online I've got with me Steve Renouf from the, um, the... You're talking about the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander digital health improvements and the use of my health records. So before um, we start asking a few questions about this, yeah. uh, can you give us a rundown on what it's all about? Yeah, mate, look, the, the my health record um, was obviously uh, you know launched uh, a couple of years ago by, by the federal government, and... Uh, my health record provides an uh, important source of information uh, yeah. for doctors and hospitals about um, everyone's health yep. information when they need it. So, so you know wherever you are, um, once you when you're on the my health record, yeah. um, you can get better care. So whether you're you're in the city um, and then you go for a drive out west or, or whatever, or if you're in the Cape and you go into Cairns, um, you know if you're on the my health record. That if um, you know a lot of our mob have underlying conditions, medical conditions as well. Um, mm. That if anything goes wrong while you're away from your your normal um, area or where you live, um, your medical professionals in another city or town can get access to your medical records. So um, you know they know how to treat you um, mm. in, in the right way. So you, you, your records will follow you no matter where you go, rather than having to go and contact a hospital or a doctor surgery to obtain information about your health. Now uh, th- that's uh, be all on it'd be all in a central bank. Um, yeah, yeah. Now who can see my health information? Um, the, the the medical practitioners that um, you see. Um, so obviously, uh, with that, um, the the, you know, the doctors and GPs. Um, mm-hmm. Um, who you give access to, so it all sits back with with the patient as well. Um, so it, it's healthcare providers um, can look at the My Health Record. Uh, you know they must be registered to use My Health Record system and use the computer, computer pro, uh, program on the computer. Mm. Um, and so also too, as a as a consumer or a user, you can track who's looked at your record and when. Mm. Um, yeah, so. That, that's cool because then you can choose to either have an email or SMS automatically sent to you when someone or a healthcare provider has looked at your record. Mm. Um, so you, you can invite your partner or, or husband or family member or a friend to manage your, you know, the records and making an, so you can nominate a representative as well. So it's it's solely up to the patient and consumer who um, gets to see your your health record. Mm. Can the police send a link or ATO access access my records? Uh, look, no, it's it's against the law um, for, for that to happen. Um, to, to you know, for um, police uh, settling to access that. Um, so, so without it really, without an extreme uh, situation, um, obviously they can access it with a court order. Mm. Uh, but generally, no, it, it's it's illegal. Mm. Um, and what about uh, insurance companies or or uh, my, or my employer? Uh, can they access my records? Uh, no one can look at it or, or ask you to tell them any fashion of my health record, insurance, or employment purposes. It's against the law, and they can get fined or go to jail. Mm-hmm. Can my health information be used for research? Um, look, the, my health information, my health record, can help improve Australia's health system by helping with research and, and public health policy. No one can see or find your name when you, when your health information in my health record, or when it's used for research. Uh, um, you know, so you can choose not to have your or your de-identified data used for research and, and public health purposes. Um, um, you know, so so yeah, you can do that in the profile and settings section of the My Health Record. So if the, you can say that, oh well, there was uh, so many people within the Western District that actually contracted this particular disease or something like that, but you can't particularly uh, say who who actually got it. Yeah. Mm, just like COVID nineteen at the moment. Well, yeah, you know, it's it, you know, COVID nineteen is is you know with the tracking and and it's it's very much needed. But um, you know, with with this um, you know, the My Health Record, um, as I said, you you got full control over it. Mm. Can someone use use uh, Google to find my health information? No, it can't be searched uh, by using Google, um, mm. which is you know. I mean, it's 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 a secure, and that's uh, the big thing of trying to get across the community. It is very secure, mm. um, you know. And, and look, the digital health agencies have done that for a reason because this is personal um, information uh, in, in a medical sense that uh, you just you just can't share mm. um, with anyone, and and so um, you know, no one can share that. 
that would be just like the do- local doctor. He can't share uh, information. No, with, not at all. They yeah. can't even talk about it. I mean, you know, I've had, look, I've had um, my, my kids um, in different situations, um, uh, you know, with, with doctors in emergency and uh, very, even as a dad sometimes because they're adults, um, you know, that stuff, you know, just can't be shared. Mm. Now, what if someone looks at my records when they should have? Uh uh, all use of the My Health Records is, is monitored by the Australian Digital Health Agency, uh, so their cyber cyber security centre. Um, so you know, if someone deliberately looks at your My Health Record when it's not, uh, you know, when it's not to provide you with healthcare, they they can face serious penalties. Mm-hmm. So, you know, this could include up to five years jail and up to three hundred fifteen, you know, three hundred fifty thousand dollars in fines. So, as I said, they, they take this very seriously. Um, you know, if there are any breaches. And what if there is information in my health record I don't want my health care providers to use? Uh, but as I, you know, I've been saying, it, it's, it's the consumer's choice what information is, is in their my health record and who you can share that with. Um, you can let your doctor or health care workers know during a visit or if you don't want them to put something you know, on your record. Um, if you do this, your health information may still be held under local clinic or hospital computer. Mm-hmm. And, and the paper files as part of your care, so... It will not be added to your My Health record. Um, so you know what I mean. So you, you can also, um, uh, you know, delete documents and medical information from your record at any time if you want or need to. Mm-hmm. Now, can my family see my record? Um, look, you, 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 can, you get autonomy when, you know, once you turn 14, you can manage your own record mm-hmm. and your parents or guardians who will no longer be able to look at it unless you invite them to be nominated. So that's... Um, that, that's it's it's obviously very much, and I talked about my family, same sort of thing. So that's your record. So uh, 14 or over, that becomes your record. Um, and, you know, if you want someone to help you manage it, or you're like a family member or carer uh, that you trust um, to have access, you can invite them to be nominated representatives. So mm. you can nominate people, but outside of that, no, it's, it all belongs to you. And do I have to do anything to keep my health information private? Oh, yeah, look, the My Health Record system is built to make your health information available safely. And that, that's a big thing, it, it's safely and securely. Um, you can, As I said before, you can control who, who can look at it and, and what is in it, uh, but you don't have to do anything if you don't want to. So if you want extra privacy, you can set an access code to restrict which clinics and doctors or hospitals can look at uh, your record. So you, you, as I said, this is all built around... Um, the, the patient and, and they get to control uh, what can be seen and who, who sees it. Mm-hmm. Is there somewhere that people can learn more or get some help with with uh, their My Health Record? Yeah, look, um, yeah, there's pub, yeah, look, uh, knowledge centres uh, through Northern you know, Queensland have done training. So, you know, uh, to be able to help people uh, link their My Health Record to their MyGov account and understand that My Health Record, you know, uh, uh, able to use it so um so you know there, there are so you know and, and there's also a government help number you, you know you call mm-hmm. um my health record helpline which is one eight hundred seven two three four seven one. 723 so yeah and that that helpline is is available 24 mm-hmm. 7 um yeah well steve thanks very much for talking to us oh look i appreciate that and and look i just can't um you know stress enough um being involved in this in the last few years how important it is especially for our mob to, to, to get on the My Health record. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thanks very much, mate. No Bye. worries, mate. Bye. Bye.